we mail the packing bar, and on top of that we have that file, we fabricate a PMMA. PMMA again, it's, it's plastic. Plastic, and um, the reason I want to do that, and you don't have to do as fancy as I did, the reason was I want to check, make sure the pecton fits, the bite is accurate, if you guys need to, because Cheryl was going in Kentucky to a golfer, and um, if you have to add something, great, add to it, take away whatever you want to do, make sure before I process zirconia, then we can test it for that. We, didn't, we don't. She, she had used that clear acrylic and poured it in, so we knew it was going to be yes. distorted. I was yeah. shocked that it was actually fitting as good as it did. It did? I mean, yeah. Pretty well? Yes. Actually, uh, the, the pectin is actually a polymer and it yeah. comes as a, in a puck, yeah. right? Yes, a puck. And you can either press it or mill it. Or yes. mill it. Yeah. So we learned a lot with that too. Yes, didn't absolutely. We? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it's such a hard material. Uh, two machines went down and destroyed two milling machines. It, this material is hard. Anyway. But that's a different story. Yeah, so we did cursing you know, yeah. from a distance. From yes. That. So um, basically, we took the PMMA. We finished it with composite as well because we wanted to document, to share with you, and, and share that what's possible. Because that could be also as a final. You don't have to do zirconia. This can be one option. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we temporarily bonded there just so we can adjust the bite and see how well it is. If everything is good. Let me just clarify that. What you've got is a pectin frame that, that uh, fits onto the implants, and then they have milled out uh, PMMA that he, you actually cemented yeah. onto that. Temporarily, yes. Yeah. 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 And actually, uh, Dr. Justice thought it was a final. Well, when I got there to help her try it in, she said, I didn't think I was getting a final. Yeah. Yeah. I said, you did. <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing what you can do with this uh, new product. It's amazing. So anyway, we cemented the, the, the final abutments inside the pecton. We use, again, different cementation technique because we need self-curing material instead of dual cure because the light doesn't penetrate the pe pecton, so you need to make sure you use a different one. And uh, here is the PMMA on top of pecton, and they're adjusting the bite, adding to it, doing everything they need to do. Yeah, what happened with her there is like she'd say, well, I'll I got it pretty close. I'll just wait till the final, till the zirconia comes back. I said, no, it has to be right now. Well, it'll change. We'll just do it a little bit. No, we're, it will not be touched again. It will be scanned into the computer and come back exactly the way you adjusted it. Yeah. So I had to work with her a little bit on that, but then. The, the, the assumption of the funnels would be easier of uh, fine to adjust. No, it's better to do it here. Yeah. The more time you spend here, the less time you spend on zirconia. Yeah parallel all the walls, then he puts little pins in the hole because the machine doesn't recognize it's actually implant here. So we have to do a one big margin all around pectin because the margin is on the bottom, right? And we scanned this. It took a while to do it. We kind of figured it out. Me and Luke together with the katana at the Zirkunzan. And here's, here's a, the developing the margin. And then we adapt the shape of the PMMA that was scanned on top of pectin. Now we have the exact shape duplicate of the temporary that we tested it. Once it's done, we nested it, and then we mail a full zirconia, the shape of the PMMA. So now we duplicate that. And with different birds, make sure it's a very accurate meal, so it's very accurate and fits accurately. The anatomy we can enhance on a superficial area, but we can do that in the machine. And then Luke colors it with uh, three-dimensional, with the watercolor or acid color, depends on the system. And then that creates a depth for our zirconia, because it's going to be monolithic. We are not putting ceramic on it. We're just putting pink, pink ceramic. So man manual labor is also required to create structure that looks like teeth and put all the soul that you have to create this. Once it shrinks, it centers after coloring, because it's 20% bigger, you can see it's pretty accurate, bite, it's exactly like the PMMA, whatever you guys adjust. And then the next step is to create a three-dimensional layering of the ceramic, glaze the teeth, make them as natural as possible, create the illusions. So all the tricks we learned in the 36 years, we apply now with all the monolithic. That's what we're doing. We're inventing because the, the process it requires not just the talent. Talent is one thing, but you have to think differently. It's not the same material. So this is up. After cementation, I will set this, we cemented the pectin and combined the full zirconia with pink ceramic all the way here, and then here's the framework and here are the cylinders. And I, I might just add here that this is probably, I have not heard 
of this prosthesis anywhere else, this combination of zirconia overlay, the pectin frame, in the United States anyway. Or in the world, because I talked to the company of um, Sanomitor in Switzerland who actually developed pectin and say they never done this. They've done pectin with single crowns and dog with composite. Right. But they haven't done this because, and I know why not, because it's not easy. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. But you know, I like the challenge. I like to do something other people don't do. It's just, that's why you guys are here. I mean, you guys are unique because other people could come here, but they didn't, but you did. Because, right? Is that correct? I mean, Ed is not ordinary man, he's an extraordinary. You know? And that's, that's what we need to be to go to the next level. It's not doing the, what we're comfortable with. Doing something, stretching yourself, getting beyond what other people... And you won't have no competition. Because somebody asked me, oh, who's your competition? I said, hmm, me. Yeah. You're right, you remember? Yeah. Because I'm not competing with myself. I'm not competing with anybody. The bite is, is, is perfect in, in, in place. I mean, you guys delivered it. We and you tell me this. We the and the lower. What was the experience? Oh, no, I... How long Unbelievable. How long Four minutes on the lower, six minutes on the upper. Four minutes on the lower, six minutes on the upper. Four minutes on the lower, six minutes, no adjustment. It Not fit one. perfectly. The patient aesthetically was, it, everybody was just high fiving. Yeah. We, so we have to actually establish what level of excellence do we want. And obviously, you do see a difference. This is monolithic as well. And I've seen articles, I've seen people publish these kind of things. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, you know, everybody, but I just want you to know that it's possible. It's possible for you to get to the next level. It's possible to make this product look good. And that's something that, if you take any message from this, and I don't know if you remember everything we said, just remember that you deserve, your patients deserve better than, than what's out there. So just give them a chance. Success does the clues and we want to share with you